Now to that GMA health alert about colon cancer. It's the second leading cause of cancer deaths in America, and now it's on the rise among young adults. We spoke with one young patient who beat it and the medical team that helped her. It was just about the last news that I was expecting to hear. At just 24 years old, Dana Rye was diagnosed with colon cancer. She's part of an unsettling trend, young adults developing one of the deadliest forms of cancer. The first time symptoms appeared for me, I was 17 years old in high school and experienced a little bit of rectal bleeding. I said to the doctor, this is what WebMD told me it could be. And the doctor laughed in my face, said there was no possible way that at my age it could be colon cancer. Experts suggest that adults get screened for colon cancer at 50 years old, 45 for African Americans. But according to a study by the American Cancer Society, colon cancer rates are rising in adults as young as their 20s and 30s, with death rates for this group also increasing. And though the overall risk of colorectal cancers at this age is still low, millennials born in 1990 now face double the risk of colon cancer as a person born in 1950 did at the same age. In our patients with young onset colorectal cancer under the age of 50, what we are seeing is that they don't have a family history or they don't have any known genetic predisposition. Dr. Andrea Sursak is one of the many pioneers behind a brand new first of its kind early onset colorectal cancer center and clinic at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York City. If we can actually identify the patients that are at risk for getting this disease at such a young age, we can diagnose them earlier. Their approach? Combining research with clinical care to tackle this problem. We hope to provide a broader, more holistic approach of medical care to our patients. After six months of grueling treatment, Dana is now 32 years old and eight years cancer-free. If there are changes in your body, to know that, recognize them, and make sure to investigate them. Yes, and Jen is nodding along about yeah. that, knowing your body. So what is, what's behind this increase? You know, it's not clear, and we don't know. There are some suggestions, and a recent study just this week that also came out of Sloan Kettering suggests there are a couple of factors. Number one, increase in polyps in young people. There is a de definite delay in getting that patient a colonoscopy. We heard about reasons why in the piece. Bleeding that then is attributed to hemorrhoids instead of colon cancer. The cost of colonoscopy, it can be difficult to get insurance companies to cover it in younger people. And this all contributes to misdiagnosis. So we have to be clear, it is still higher risk if you're over the age of 50. But this age group, the rise is concerning. It is very concerning. So what about signs, symptoms, prevention? This is where people really need to pay attention, even young people, because this can be life-saving. So signs or symptoms. Number one, any type of irregular bleeding, any change in your bowel habits, weight loss that's unintentional, persistent cramping, gas, abdominal pain. If you notice those, be persistent. And again, this applies to the medical profession as well. We need to think of this yes. diagnosis. But you also have to talk about prevention because that is really important. So when you talk about colorectal cancer, the things that are associated with lowering your risk, your diet, very, very important, getting screened if it's appropriate, not smoking, limiting alcohol, and keeping your weight in a healthy range. For some people, aspirin has been shown to lower the risk, but it's not recommended for everyone across the board. Something you really were adamant about discussing, Lynch syndrome. I've never heard of this. Lynch, you're not alone, Robin. Even some doctors don't think of Lynch syndrome. This is one of the most common hereditary cancer syndromes. The estimates are that one out of 300 people may be a carrier for this gene. What is it? And Lynch syndrome has an associated increased risk of colorectal cancer and other cancers, endometrial cancer. Cancer. So it's on my radar as a gynecologist, but also increased risk of stomach cancer, breast cancer. Um, so for those people, genetic testing is important. Testing, that's how you find it. Yeah, All right, exactly. Jen, thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.